Well, tonight only on 9, the mystery surrounding a 119-year-old document has finally been solved. A Southland woman has been trying to track down the relatives of a long-deceased man whose diploma she discovered inside her home. Well, tonight, as KCAL9's Peter Doubt reports, the search is over. And then I love this picture. From her home near Sacramento, Sally Trawick says these photos are the only physical memory she has of her grandfather, Clarence McDonald Stevenson. He died when she was two. I don't know that much about my grandfather. So imagine her surprise when one of her grandfather's most meaningful possessions, his diploma from the year 1896, suddenly turned up in a stranger's basement, roughly 440 miles away in Chino. It was very exciting, very exciting. As we moved other stuff, it became apparent there was a something there. Julia Brown says she was recently cleaning out the basement of the home she's lived in for 21 years when she discovered the diploma on a shelf where it likely hid in the dark for decades. The name, Clarence McDonald Stevenson. Somebody held this thing in their hands after a lot of hard work getting a doctorate degree over 100 years ago, and it's still here. Still in good condition, the diploma states that Stevenson received a Doctor of Optics degree from the Northern Illinois College of Ophthalmology and Otology. Rather than get rid of the diploma, Brown felt determined to track down Stevenson's relatives to give them the 119-year-old document. It deserves to be somewhere other than in our basement, for sure. Trawick says she has no idea how her grandfather's diploma ended up in Chino, let alone in someone's basement. Now a grandparent herself, she says she's grateful she'll soon have more than just photos of the man who continues to remain a mystery. It's awfully nice to have those connections with our family. That was Kate Caroline's Peter Doubt reporting there. A genealogist located Truweek who plans to visit Southern California soon to thank Julia Brown and pick up the diploma. Now, when she brings it back to Sacramento, she plans to frame it and eventually pass it down to her grandchildren. How nice.